Week 2 of map testing is over. Since I'll be deep in Cologne for the rest of the week, I won't be around to admin the servers, so I'm putting my own maps on the rotation, as well as two new Woolhack maps I've been working on. By popular demand, I've chosen to do Mirage and Cache, the latter of which has loads of problems because it's a custom map, but I tried unblacking as many of the props and textures as I could. It's not perfect, but at least now you can practice lining up shots through walls on these maps as well. Playing on these maps won't get you VAC banned, just as the Dust 2 one didn't. When I return next week, I'll sort out some more community maps to put on the servers. Speaking of community maps, Week 2 was a great success. I was lucky to have chosen 7 mappers who really wanted to improve their creations. They all did this in different ways. Some, like the maker of Silo and Deluvio, used the time to playtest their creations and to iron out bugs and exploits. McMessenger was finally able to get his beautiful foray map tested. He said it really helped to see his map from others' perspectives, and has worked to make his map's layout easier to read. Everybody seemed to like the firing range of Bombsite A. Whiteout was a load of fun for me when I dropped by. Everybody had given up fighting to try and escape the map by forming human towers. This map has also had a lot of changes made to its unique design. Blackie, the maker of Factory, gave his whole map a very Nuke-esque visual makeover. Whenever I looked, he was busy working away on the SDK and really earned his place on the map rotation this week. The visually striking Basilica has become even more impressive to look at, with beautiful brushwork inside and bright, colourful lighting outside. And finally, Ego has updated pipes over 20 times, changing both the gameplay and the graphics extensively. So all in all, it's been another successful week. Have fun, and if you're going to the Major, maybe I'll see you there.